it's embarrassing. When you get the spray and the perfume all over you right before you see somebody and they get the kissing and sucking and licking all over you and they die from eating perfume or they make comments about how you taste nasty, that is not cute, okay? <laughs> Hey loves, it's your girl Candace. I'm here with Confidential Talk and it is Freaky 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 Friday. Y'all, you know what we're here to talk about tonight, okay? We're here to talk about sex. And you know, I'm so excited, all right? This is the Better Sex Life series, all right? We are talking about how to smell good during sex properly and before sex properly, okay? Yes, you do not want your partner kissing all up on you and spitting out perfume and dying from choking on lotion, okay? That's not cute, that's not sexy. I've definitely been there. That's why I'm actually really excited to, to dedicate this episode to this specific topic because it's embarrassing when you get the spray and the perfume all over you right before you see somebody and they get the kissing and sucking and licking all over you and they die from eating perfume or they make comments about how you taste nasty. That is not cute, okay? So I am going to talk to you guys on to how to properly, you know, smell good before sex and during sex, okay? I got y'all, all right? And also, we are gonna be doing a tutorial and DIY today. Um, I made some edible body butter. Um, I will have the link in the description box from the uh, description box from the original girl that made the video. It is a um, chocolate edible body butter. Um, it is very chocolate. It tastes good, but very chocolate. Um, I def definitely want to make a couple tweaks to this recipe. We're going to talk about it. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how it looks and all that stuff and how I did it. I actually, like, videotape myself making it. So, y'all going to do that too. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, we're going to talk about all that. So, you know, let's get into it. But before that... If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Candice. I do videos on sex, love, relationships. We talk about how to better the sex life over here. We talk about sex toys, all that stuff. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Become part of the Confidential Talk family. Click that notifications button so you can get notified when I drop a new video because I do drop often, okay? I do drop every Friday for Freaky 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 Friday, but I do drop throughout the week as well too, so you don't want to miss anything, I right? Make sure you guys go over to confidentialtalk.com. We got your pleasure items over there. I do ship out within 48 hours of you ordering, so you will get your stuff really quickly, okay? Discreet packaging, so ain't nobody gonna know. And I got some new stuff over there as well too, so please check out my store at confidentialtalk.com. Everything will be down below for you, okay? But let's get into this video. So, yes, y'all, like I said, you know, actually my boyfriend now, this actually happened with him. <laughs> he ain't gonna remember it. So, you know, ain't no need for us to go down memory lane with him, okay? He ain't gotta know that we doing this video, even though he know about my channel. He ain't gotta know about it, okay? Because <laughs> he ain't gonna remember it. We ain't gotta, we don't have to bring it back up, y'all. But yes, there was a time where I decided to spray myself down right before he came over. And we got into the thing, okay? And he got the lick in on me, and he literally was like, like, what the hell? Like, why do you taste like that? Like, you, that's a perfume? Like, Ugh, it tastes nasty. He ain't want to really kiss and lick on me no more. Like, that shit is not cute. So, literally, at that point, I literally start paying attention to that. I was just like, oh my god, I cannot spray perfume on myself right before a date or anything. I cannot put, like, perfumey lotion right on before a date or anything. Like, I can't do that because if he get the kissing on me and looking on me, he gonna be get the... Ugh. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, that is not cute. That ruins the vibe. It just ruins the mood. And you feel nasty. Like, the perfume don't even smell good no more. Like, like you you, your taste gross. It just ruins the whole mood. So, look. I got gotcha. y'all. But we are going to be talking about, um, kind of like from start to finish. So, of course, the first thing on my list was, of course, to shower. You have to shower. Now, um, I do have a couple shower regimens of before sex, um, uh, get ready with me's for you know dick appointments i have those type of videos already on my channel so i will have the link in the description box below to some of those videos i do have my pretty dick appointment video i actually have a blog that's doing really well on my website as well too it's pretty much going over the video but um 
some people like to read versus actually watching a visual so you can check out the blog i'll have everything down below for you guys definitely check out that video because i'll walk you step by step by step on the things that you should do like pretty much my regimen before i have sex okay i get sexy i take a shower this the type of products that i use stuff like that i also do have another video get ready with me um date night dick appointment whatever i have another video so i'll have both of those videos down below i actually have like a and i did in one of those videos to get ready with me um i did like a whole like shower routine you actually i actually like go through what i use what i like and all that stuff so please check those videos out the only thing i will say disclaimer I don't use scented products. I am someone that has sensitive skin and eczema. So I can't use scented products. But really, honestly, how I feel, it's not really good for your skin. And you can smell good, look good, taste good without throwing a whole bunch of perfume on your body. Like, it's just not good for your skin. So I think, honestly, I will be having these regimens anyways, even if I didn't have sensitive skin. But... Just, you know, putting that out there. Like, you're not going to see, like, heavily perfumey stuff in my regimens because I have eczema and I have sensitive skin. And a lot of times, that stuff is not even good for your body anyways. Anyways, that was my rant. <laughs> Go check those videos out. But two of my favorite products to use vaginally um would be the honey pot sensitive foaming wash i love this one um it just makes me feel really fresh really refined this is something that i would use right before sex because I just, it just makes me feel fresh clean um and nice so i actually kind of just work this in my regular like regimen versus like you know just like a right before sex so this is kind of like my regular decular Another soap that I absolutely love that kind of I feel like for me I feel like just makes me feel and taste really nice and good and like clean and like I don't know fresh. I would definitely say the Dr. Bronner's peppermint soap. Okay, not the baby unscented. People will be like, oh, you gotta get the unscented baby. Like, okay. Dr. Bronner's Peppermint Soap is a natural soap. It's naturally scented. There's no fragrance in it. So it's okay. You know, it's peppermint oil. You're fine. I absolutely love it down there. Obviously, because of the peppermint oil, it gives you that nice, like, cooling, clean feeling. But I also just make, I feel like it does make me taste, not necessarily taste good, but it just, it kind of just, I don't know. It sets the tone for some some good punana to, to eat, okay? <laughs> I don't know how else to put it, okay? I like the Dr. Bronner's Peppermint Soap before sex i do like to use that prior to sex it's just me i don't know it's not because of how it's gonna make me smell because it doesn't leave a smell it's not fra he heavily fragranced it's none of that it's just the way it makes me feel it makes me feel clean it makes me feel fresh it makes me feel and i feel like that is the aura of juices coming from me after that wash i don't know okay let me stop <laughs> See, you see what we do over here, y'all? Okay, if y'all do here, listen. No, this is a judgment-free zone, okay? We don't judge over here. We have a good time. We are open about sex, and it is what it is. <laughs> um, um, but moving on, moving on to the actual perfume portion of it, fragrance portion of it. You guys, of course, I'm not telling you not to use perfume and stuff before sex. I'm not seeing that. It's just the way you use it. So, it takes 30 minutes for lotion to absorb in the skin. Um, so, anytime you're doing any fragrance lotion or anything like that prior to, like, you know, the appointment, sneaky link. Okay, date night, whatever, whatever you're doing, booty call. Um, you want to make sure you give yourself at least 30 minutes. I would say an hour. Okay, obviously if it's some good stuff, it still should be, you still should be smelling like it within an hour's time. Um, but give it 30 minutes at least to absorb in your skin, to absorb so they're not literally tasting perfume. Another good way to kind of get around that too, especially if you do have sensitive skin and you're like, I don't want to put any fragrance on my body. Spray it on your clothes. Spray it on your um, your lingerie. Avoid the crotch area only because obviously we don't want to put any fragrance, anything fragranced, heavily fragranced down there. We want to keep that protected to keep our pH balance 
balanced, okay? We don't want no yeast infections, no bacteria infections, just because we want to be smelling good for one night, no. We don't want that, okay? <laughs> All right, um... The, your natural juices, your natural juices smell just as good. Trust me. You do not need to be smelling like Pure Seduction and Love Spell. <laughs> no. Uh, but spray your lingerie. Spray around the, the, the strap parts, the lace parts. Pretty much anywhere but the crotch area. Spray your lingerie. Spray your clothes, whatever you're planning on wearing over there because... They will smell it. You will smell good as they're kissing on your body, as they're kissing in certain areas. They're going to still smell that lingering smell of perfume. They probably still have the clothing kind of on you. The lace still is on you. The bra still is on you. If you want to do your undergarments, you can spray your undergarments with perfume. Um, I recommend you sp spraying your clothes, though. It's just a really good way to still smell good and keep your body clean of tasting like perfume. Like, it will still taste like your body, your natural juices. And they'll be able to still smell your perfume. Um, now really good places to put your perfume. Now, say if you spray perfume on prior to a date, really great places, of course, would be, of course, the wrist and a wrist. And I always see people do this. And of course, I worked in a beauty, a fragrance department for a while. So like, this is actually something that really grinds my gears. It's really a pet peeve of mine because I just know, I just happen to know this which no one else would know this unless you worked in, I guess, a fragrance department. But you do not rub the perfume in your skin. Don't do this. Stop doing that, y'all. You are ruining the beautiful, good-smelling notes in that perfume when you do that. You are changing the chemistry of the fragrance. Do not rub your wrist together. Just wave it. Just give it a nice little wave in the air. Let it dry. Absorb in the skin and let us do this natural thing do not rub your wrists together don't rub the perfume in just give it a nice little airy 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 vibe okay <laughs> um but in your inner wrists inner thighs are really good places um of course avoiding oh wow i'm like super burpy tonight of course trying to avoid the crotch area your vagina you want to spray maybe like the inner thigh that area is a really good place to spray in the middle of like the breast area, the bosoms, okay. Also, a really, really good spot to spray perfume is on your ankles, okay. Let that, let that marinate. I'm not even going to tell you why. I'm going to let that, let, let you think on that. Why would the ankles be a good spot? Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. And if you're still wondering... Comment below. I got you. I'll, I'll let you know in the comments. <laughs> but yes, that is pretty much it, guys. Um, you literally, that is really the secret code to smelling good. Keep it off your skin prior, right before um, you see any partner. Put it on there, making sure it absorbs. Another alternative, put on your clothes. Um, Honestly, you can use like flavor body butters and fragrance body butters and stuff like that um, to give yourself a nice little still like a good smell, um, but not necessarily having to like worry about um, it tasting bad or your, your skin tasting nasty or it tasting like perfume and stuff like that. So body butters is still a kind of a good way, but it depends on the body butter. If it's like more of a like homemade natural body butter, um, then that will probably be a little bit more like better than versus like maybe a store-bought body butter where it has like all the chemicals and stuff in it and it's not necessarily as natural and it still is kind of tasting like, like lotion, you know what I'm saying? Then you want to still give it like 30 minutes, but Body butters is another really good way to like get around that rule of the 30 minute rule and be able to like put on something a little bit prior and still be able to get sucked and licked on and it doesn't taste super gross, okay? But we are going to get into our recipe, okay? So I did make this um, chocolate edible body butter. I did put it in this because we have a kiddo running around the house, okay? So um, do it, this has to be stored in the fridge. It's edible body butter so you put it in the fridge it only lasts for a couple weeks um i would say two to three weeks um then you want, might want to go ahead and toss it um but th it's food you know what i'm saying so you know keep it in the fridge don't keep it forever 
yes, keep those things in mind, guys, okay? <laughs> um, but yes, I used, I did make this. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to show you how you made it. Like, it's, I put this, I keep it, like I said, I keep it in the fridge. I have this in the fridge. Um, but soon as you touch it, like any other body butter, as soon as you touch it, it literally turns right into oil. Okay, you can't even see that. It's one right in my nail. Um, but this one is a little bit different because it is edible. It's chocolate. I use cocoa powder um, to make this so it does have a color to it. So you can't just go rubbing it all over your body for moisturizing reasons. This is strictly for, let's play baby. Let me, let me rub this down your body and lick it up. Okay. This is not, for, or maybe massage your back and give you a couple licks in between because it's cocoa butter, it's cocoa, um, it's cocoa powder in it. And if you put this up against a white t-shirt, it's going to stain it. Okay. It's going to like do things. So it's just like, be very cautious as far as like sheets and stuff like that. If you guys are planning on using this, um, and having a really good time, having fun, it's still edible. It's still kind of food. It's going to color things and it's going to stain. Okay. So be cautious. Um, uh, but anyways, other than that, um, I like it. Okay. It's very chocolatey. I would recommend, um, yeah, it tastes like straight Hershey chocolate, <laughs> Hershey chocolate bar. Um, I want to say it needs to be a little bit more sweeter. So maybe adding a little bit of sugar in it or a little bit more of the vanilla extract. Um, I definitely want to actually retry making this again because it actually is a really good idea. It actually does taste really good, but I just wish it was sweeter. It had a little bit more sugar. I think I did see a recipe uh, where she did add sugar, but um, I'm, I'm trying to stay away from sugar, y'all. Okay, I don't need no sugar. Okay, sugar don't need me. I don't need it. But and uh, that's a, another good. Um, a, but a a good thought would be, a uh, interesting thought is you know would you be able to feel the sugar you know so, I don't know. So I don't know how that would work. Um, so I would just have to try it. So don't put sugar in it, guys. I don't know if you would be able to feel it even after mixing it. But I am going to show you guys how I made this edible body butter. Um, I am going to show you how it does look on the skin. Um, it literally melts as soon as you touch it. Like, you know, like, don't worry, guys. Like, you could literally rub it. And it comes right off into the hands. And you can eat it. Um, it's oil-based. So it turns right into the oil. It turns right into oil um, as soon as the body temperature hits it. You can rub it right into the skin, and that's why I kind of like this because you can use it for like massaging purposes. Of course, it's edible, so it can be like you know these are all like this is good foreplay fun right here. So let's get right into this recipe, y'all. I'm gonna show you guys how to make this, and I will be right back. Hey loves, today I will be showing you how to make edible body butter. I found this recipe on YouTube, so I'll have the link to that video in the description box. But I'll be showing you how I made mine. I am using coconut oil, cacao butter, cocoa powder, honey, and vanilla extract. I start this recipe off by um, measuring off my coconut oil and my cacao butter. I did use two tablespoons of the coconut oil and I did measure the cacao butter and I used about 52 grams. Now you're going to have to melt this. I wouldn't recommend just simply putting it in the microwave. I actually am going to heat up a bowl of water and melt it that way. I heated up this water for about three minutes then I went back and heated up a little bit longer because you want this water really really hot so in total I did uh, warm it up for about five minutes I took a thin bowl and put it inside of the water and I put my cacao butter and my coconut oil inside and put a lid on top and that's how I was able to get it melted down it literally only took like 15 minutes um, 
So I got it melted down and now we're about to mix the rest of the ingredients in there and get it solidified. So you're gonna see me take about a tablespoon of the cocoa powder. I'm gonna do um, about a quarter of a tablespoon of the vanilla extract and a half a tablespoon of honey. Now I would recommend going a little bit heavier on the vanilla extract because it's gonna make it a little bit more sweeter. Um, I think that's what personally I felt like this was lacking was a little bit of sweetness. Now I used a whisk to mix everything together. I whisked it really good, made sure all the cocoa powder chunks were out of there. There's no lumps, chunks, or anything. Just wanna make sure everything is completely mixed. Then I put it inside the glass bowl and I put it in the freezer for about 15 minutes to make sure it get nice and solidified. So now it looks like this. So I'm gonna take my little spatula, get it all broken up. I actually had to get a spoon to get the sides. Um, but you want it solidified, not too, too solid, but just solid enough uh, because we are gonna get our mixing uh, bowl and mix it up just like this. So I'm gonna whip this up like this um, for a few minutes. It's gonna look like icing once we're done, guys. So you want it to look like icing. So this is the finished product. It looks so delicious and yummy. I am gonna store it in a Tupperware container because we do have a kiddo. So I don't want her going in and looking like, what is this? Okay, if it was just in a normal jar. So we are gonna put this in Tupperware so it could just look like regular food. And as you see, I put it on my skin. It melts right into the skin. Nice and chocolatey. You guys enjoy. All right, y'all, so that is how y'all make the edible body butter. Um, like I said, I'm going to try it with sugar. I don't know how that will work. If you guys try it prior to me, please comment below. I need to know how it worked out for you. I need to know. Um, also, I would, again, recommend maybe using a little bit more vanilla extract. It just didn't seem sweetened. It just tastes like straight chocolate without the sugar okay so again i do like it chocolatey good it's edible it's safe you can put it in your body um i liked it it was good so guys make sure you guys make this let me know what you guys think below um thank you guys for joining me of course comment below please comment 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 i need you guys just commenting um let's talk about this stuff i will be here next week of course for freaky 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 friday and i got some stuff planned even then if you guys have something that you guys want me to talk about discuss or go over please comment below let me know let's talk about it and um i'll see you guys in my next video have a good night peace